for today's big interview as you welcome in the leading scorer for the Badgers, Cruz Lucius. Cruz, I guess this is exactly what we want to play for, right? You have no idea at the beginning of the year that the schedule is going to shake out the way that it did, but you have the top two teams playing for the regular season title. How excited are you guys to host this series this weekend? Yeah, super excited. I think it's obviously awesome to be in your, you know, home arena and, you know, it's something our team's been looking forward to uh, for a while now, so. What's that environment been like this year in Madison, especially against quality opponents and series that mean a lot? I've been watching, I've been listening in, haven't been lucky enough to actually be there, but it looks like the fan base is all the way back and it's a huge home ice edge. Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. I think, uh, you know, seeing whatever 13,000 fans has been, you know, super cool. And obviously the students have been great too so it's been a big help for our team and you know it's brought a lot of energy for our team and I think has been a big part of our success. Now Michigan State obviously got the first two against you guys earlier this year in East Lansing when you look back at that film what were they able to do that weekend? Yeah I actually uh, I was sick that weekend I didn't play but just watching I mean they're a big physical team um, they're obviously super offensive but they also are obviously pretty good in the D zone too so they're just they're just a really good um, overall team, so um, I think that's you know kind of what we had trouble with. But going into this weekend, just kind of going back to you know watching film, seeing what we can improve on. So I think that's going to be a big help for us. Without you being able to be in that lineup during that trip to East Lansing earlier this year, how much more fired up does that make you to get back on the ice for this return game, return series in Madison? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm super excited. It's, uh, you know, going to be a big test for us. Obviously, they got us pretty good those first two games. But I think me and obviously the team is super excited to get, get back at them. So. It's been a huge turnaround from last year to this year for you guys, not just in terms of wins and losses, but it seems like there's a different feeling right now around the program. How would you describe kind of the change, whether it's the culture that Coach Hastings brought or just the difference in how it feels inside the room this year? Yeah, I mean, I think a big thing for us is kind of living in the moment, um, you know, taking it day by day. Uh, I think not really looking at the games ahead, but kind of just looking at the practice we have, you know, that day or the workout. I think that's been a, you know, big part of our team success and is, you know, what's helped us, you know, improve a lot this year. As far as on the ice, how would you describe the chemistry, specifically, obviously, on your line, but also among all four lines and the guys who patrol the back end as well? Yeah, I think, you know, for, for my line, I've been playing with uh, Maddie St. Fallon, uh, Celia, pretty much the whole year. And, you know, for us, it's really, um, I, we always kind of say, you know, defense leads to offense. So I think that's a big part for us as we know kind of what we're capable in the offensive zone. But, you know, what we've done, um, you know, our whole game has been really, really well. And that's what's led us to our success. And I think, you know, as a team, um, every line our, on our team can score. And obviously, the, our defensemen, too, are, you know, really shut down, but also can produce offensively. So, um, you know, having that as a team where every guy, um, you know, can make a big impact is huge for us. For someone who may be getting their first look at you individually, do your best to kind of describe your style of play and what you think you're doing when you're playing at your best. Yeah, I mean, I think when I'm at my best, I'm uh, moving my feet and uh, obviously... I think my playmaking is a big part of my game and, you know, always wanting the puck on my stick has been a, you know, something I've always kind of put around my game and uh, my offensive uh, uh, capabilities, I think, is, uh, you know, my strong suit. Uh, 18 assists this season, kind of backing that up. I want to ask about some of your teammates. I'm going to start with Simon Tassi, a guy who just seems to always be kind of in the right place at the right time. He's already got four game-winning goals. What is it about Simon and players like him that just seem to be able to come up with the goals when the team needs it the most? Yeah, I mean, he's a guy that kind of always has a chip on his shoulder, and, you know, he's he's not afraid to get in there. And I, I had the opportunity to play a couple games with him, and he uh, he just brings a lot of energy to our line or to, like, his line. And then as a team, he brings a lot of energy uh, – every game so he's uh you know he's somebody that our team's really really um looked on for those big time moments and then obviously you know him coming in this year he's been a huge huge help to our team 
Cruz, you mentioned already how important defense is to this team, that it's kind of the backbone of everything that you guys do, and that means you need a good goaltender. You haven't had a good goaltender this year. You've had one of the best, if not the best, goaltenders in the country in Kyle McClellan. He comes off a weekend in which he stopped 65 of 67 against Penn State, and it's basically what he's been doing all season long. What's it like for the rest of the team that know, even in those rare moments when you make a mistake, the guy between the pipes usually erases it? Yeah, I mean, he's obviously had such a great year, and I think you know he is he is the best goalie in, in the in the country, and he's shown it. Um, he, uh, it's 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 really good to have somebody you can rely upon. Where if you know as a team you're going to make mistakes, but he's going to be back there and he's ready uh, ready to stop it. So he's he's been huge, and uh, you know another guy that's been uh, you know a big part of our team. I know this is a family affair inside Big Ten hockey for you. Your brother Chaz played at Minnesota for a year uh, how, how much trash talk is there between you guys especially when the gophers and the badgers face off against each other yeah i mean i not not too much i think uh for both of us we're you know no matter where we are we're super happy for each other and you know he's been he's been there for me you know ever since you know we were kids so you know for both of us it's just being being excited for each other wherever we are and um you know support always so I mean, you're both NHL draft picks. How much did you guys dream about that kind of growing up? And, and what's it like to know that that actually became reality? Yeah, I mean, that's obviously you know, a huge accomplishment. Um, but I think it's, uh, you know, something we both worked really, really hard towards. And, you know, obviously him being close and me, um, you know, I would say kind of coming, kind of following in his suit, I guess, has been been pretty cool and uh it's it's been a huge accomplishment for us and you know obviously a great opportunity i know he's out for the year with injury second year in a row i think in the a that he's been sidelined by a season-ending injury w what has he told you about kind of that next level and what maybe it takes for you to be able to go from college then to a league like the a but then to be able to maybe make that next step and get the call up to actually play in the nhl yeah i mean i think he's uh you know been a big part of showing me kind of that and it's obviously he's told me it's a lot harder um guys are a lot stronger more physical um so it's just kind of that extra step um that he's kind of explained to me all right Cruz. let's finish with this you guys know what you need to do this weekend you need to win one game in regulation the second game you can win but it has to be in a shootout or obviously in overtime or in regulation so how does wisconsin get the job done this weekend beat michigan state twice win the Big Ten, and get that auto bid all the way into the semifinals? Yeah, I think it's like I said, you know, for our team success is, you know, living in the moment, um, you know, whether it's today in practice, our lift we already had this morning, um, you know, not really looking at that Friday game, but kind of focusing on what we have to do to get there and, you know, to be as prepared as possible. So, and when that time comes, um, you know, we'll be ready. So I think it's just taking it day by day, um, obviously having it in the back of your mind and just being ready to go. It is the kind of series that all of us hockey fans are so excited to watch. Both games this weekend on Big Ten Plus. Cruz Lucius, we appreciate the time. Best of luck this weekend. Can't wait to watch. Thank you for your time.